Are you a new player to Skyblock Hypixel and have no idea what to do? Well, in this video I'm going to guide you to the early stages of the game. The very first thing I'm going to tell you about are the basics of the game. Skyblock Hypixel is not like any other Skyblock, because it is an RPG type of game. And as any other RPG, this game mode has skills, which you will improve over time. And the thing is that there are 12 skills. You spawn on an island with nothing else than a tree and some stone on it. In front of you there is a portal that you will have to reach and go through. You are going to make a bridge to the island that is in front of you. Once you have reached the portal you can talk to Jerry and he will tell you about any new updates or patches that the game gets. Congratulations! You have made it to the hub of the game. Once you are here, you may want to talk to all the 12 villagers, since they will make you have a better understanding of the game, but it is totally up to you. One villager you must talk to is Jamie, since he's going to give you a free rogue sword, which you can use to walk faster around the game. I do recommend talking to all of them since you will receive skyblock experience, which is significant since you will need to get to level 7 skyblock to unlock the bazaar, which we will cover later. Now that you have done so, go ahead and break some wheat, and make about a stack of hay bale. With every farming skill level and wheat collection level, you are going to also receive skyblock experience, which will help you level your skyblock. Afterwards, talk to the farming merchant in the hub, and sell her all of the seeds, wheat and hay bale you have collected. Head towards the coal mine and buy the following items I have put on the screen. Before continuing any further, please head to the bank and deposit all of your coins, since dying will lose you half of them. After equipping all of your gear, head to the graveyard which is behind the portal towards the fountain. Keep going on that path until you see a graveyard on the right. Kill zombies until you reach combat level 3, using the dead sword. After you have reached combat level 3, head back to Rosetta and buy Rosetta's armor. Afterward, head to the coal mine and reach level mining 1. Then head towards the gold mine. Talk to the lazy miner, by doing so you will be able to collect the pickaxe in the depths of the mine. Your next objective is going to reach level 5 mining, so you can unlock the deep cavern. After reaching level 5 mining skill, head inside the deep caverns and talk to the lift operator. You will take a path to the very bottom, so that you unlock the travel to every level in the lift. You will need to gather the following items, you will use all of the materials to craft minions and unlock minion slots. But you may ask why? Well, because it is hard to unlock the redstone collection in the mines. Mining redstone will anger the zombie pigmen and they will kill you easily, since you have barely any gear. You should try and improve your foraging skill as well, since it's going to give you some coin strength and skyblock experience. And it is important, since you will need to craft unique minions, and for every type of tree there is a minion. 
craft up your minions. Then you will have to build a platform that is 5 by 5, 6 rows. Since you only have 6 minion slots for now. Upgrading the minions will unlock you more minion slots. Since they count as unique minions. Eventually turn all of your minions into redstone minions and complete the collection. Use that will unlock your accessories known as talismans. Afterwards you should invest in some slime minions or snow minions. Since they will get you some money in the future. This is the ideal layout for minions. Meanwhile I'm building this platform let me tell you about talismans and accessories. Accessories are a category of items that grant buffs meanwhile held in a player's inventory or accessory bag. Accessories can be enriched and they have powers applied to them that grant additional stats on top of their original effects. But for talismans I'm going to let you discover them yourself. Head to the official wiki page of Hypixel Skyblock and search them up. I want to mention that they also include magic power which buffs you a lot. Talk to Maxwell the Taumatologist in the hub to find out more about them. The next step is to place your minion and let them do their thing. Occasionally check on them and collect everything they produced. Upgrade them so they hold more items and produce more. Next thing you will need to do is grind hay bale until you can afford the glassite armor. Get combat level 9, head into the spiders then and kill your first boss, the Arachne. In the future you will get level 12 combat skill so you can unlock the end. Eventually you will unlock the bazaar and the bazaar is a market driven by the players. You can still soften it, create buy orders and flip the orders, depending on the profit margin and the market. Let me tell you about the portal hub. By visiting the portal hub you can travel faster between islands and it's the fastest way to move around. Reforges is something you will need to do. By reforging your armor or weapon of choice, you will be able to get some extra stats by the reforge you put on your item. Reforges are unlimited and you can do them as long as you have the funds to do so. For armor, if you are going for damage, do fierce. Or pure, if you need crit chance. And for magic, if you decide to go down that path, you will get wise on your armor. Also you can do slash wiki. If you do slash wiki it will link you the official page of the skyblock hypixel. And if you do slash wiki this meanwhile holding an item in hand, it will send you to the official page of the item. Also there is the action house. You can sell items and buy items for custom prices. Please do keep in mind that some items sell for more coins on NPCs than they do on bazaar. With all of this being said I hope you have learned something this video and that this video was helpful to you. If you happen to get stuck and don't know how to progress you can join my discord server. There is a channel made for you guys where you can ask questions about the game or game progression. I was Infernal Shadow and thank you for watching. Have a lovely day.